<laughs> My name is Tony Chaliwa. I'm a Cherokee jeweler from Evening Shade, which is a little Cherokee community in the south part of the Cherokee Nation. I uh, started teaching jewelry here in the studio that's behind me in 2010. I helped the Cherokee Nation put the jewelry program together and uh, to revive the old copper work, the pre-Columbian copper work that the Eastern tribes used to do prior to Columbus's arrival. And uh, that's one of the main issues we've got going here is to uh, bring in some more traditional to us type of jewelry. And that's my main focus that I've been doing in these past few years. <clears throat> the pieces that I put in the show uh, reflect the casinos and the traditional Mississippian motifs that we have been doing in the jewelry classes. And uh, I, with my ideas with it, my ancestors wouldn't really understand the, uh, the, what a casino is all about at all. So I kind of did kind of a parody with it and uh, just did a play mixing the traditional designs with a modern contemporary theme with it. And uh, just going in the casinos and seeing all our old motifs and stuff on the walls. It's kind of interesting because <laughs> that has nothing to do with the casinos at all. But I thought it was an interesting mix. And I know they did it just to kind of brand it as ours versus a regular casino from Las Vegas. But that was just kind of my take on it. And uh, I like doing stuff like that. It's stuff that's kind of controversial sometimes. Some people don't understand it, but it's fun. The casino era, which I'm, I'm calling the period that we live in now versus some of the other periods that the archaeologist gives us are uh, as current, what's current in our Cherokee lives and other Indian tribes lives right now, being that the casino is kind of the big funder and allows us to do a lot of different things that we wouldn't be able to afford to do otherwise. and. Uh, and so that's kind of the basis of the theme of my pieces and uh, just things that would pertain to it like uh, games of skill that were depicted in some of the old motifs. I was thinking, well, what would be a game of skill these days? And one would be like shooting craps, playing poker all those types of things and so that's kind of what I based my pieces on and uh, some of them kind of just lent themselves to be adapted readily just by the, the particular design or the position of the uh, players and like the uh, one piece that I did Walosi uh, the it was a chunky player it was the original design and the just the position that they have the figure in inside the medallion. I, just, I looked at that originally and I thought, <laughs> that guy's a craps player. <laughs> that would fit so easily. And then, of course, with the other one, I had to put in a homage to the uh, slot machines because that's the first thing you see you go to any casino is a slot machine. So same here they're all gathered around the slot machines i thought that was pretty fitting for that one 